Lockheed Martin's SR-72 Skunkworks information recently revealed. One of our all-time favorite aircraft, the Lockheed Martin SR-71 Blackbird, has spawned a successor to its place as the highest, fastest, most untouchable strategic reconnaissance platform that world has known of. While there has been much speculation about a successor for decades, this new bird, currently called the SR-72, is the only one Lockheed Martin a game-changer on many levels. Basically both Russia and China are actively pursuing hypersonic capabilities to varying degrees, and some argue America is falling behind both in fielding our own similar systems and defending against the emerging capabilities. Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works recently divulged some information about the SR-72 program to build a successor to the iconic SR-71 Blackbird reconnaissance aircraft. The Advanced Aircraft Development Division of Lockheed Martin told Aviation Week that hypersonic technologies, including a combined cycle propulsion system that merges a supersonic jet engine with a rocket engine, have advanced to the point that work on the planned SR-72 can begin in earnest. The SR-72 will be a strike and reconnaissance aircraft capable of topping Mach 6. We've been saying hypersonics is two years away for the last 20 years, but all I can say is the technology is mature and we, along with DARPA and the services, are working hard to get that capability into the hands of our pilot as soon as possible. Rob Weiss, Lockheed Martin's executive vice president and general manager for Skunk Works, told. The Air Force and DARPA have been working on the early development of a hypersonic successor to the SR-71 since the early 2000s. In 2013, the USAF announced that it had begun design work on a scaled demonstrator of the SR-72. Since then, However, almost no details about the program have been released. Now Skunk Works has confirmed that ground tests on a combined cycle engine with elements of a scrumjet and rocket engine were conducted from 2013 to 2017. Lockheed Martin partnered with Aerojet Rocket Dan to begin work modifying an off-the-shelf turbine to build a combined cycle engine back in 2006. The Advanced Aircraft Division also said that it was getting close to starting full-scale development of a flight research vehicle, FRV. This FRV is expected to be about the size of an F-22 and use a full combined cycle propulsion system, according to Aviation Week. Lockheed Martin optimistically plans to fly an FRV in the early 2020s. Following demonstrator flight testing, a full-scale twin-engine SR-72, about the same size as the SR-71, could achieve first flight before 2030. Whether an SR-72 is a good investment or not, considering how competent Lockheed and their Air Force colleagues are at keeping secrets, the SR-72's strange grey world. Why the Pentagon even needs a super high-end hypersonic space plane in the first place. Certainly the service doesn't need it for reconnaissance primarily, which also puts the whole SR moniker for likely a marketing tool more than anything else. But, the Brad Leland, Lockheed's program manager for hypersonics makes the case for the jet on the company's website, stating. Hypersonic aircraft, coupled with hypersonic missiles, could penetrate denied airspace and strike at nearly any location across the continent in less than an hour. Speed is the next aviation advancement to counter emerging threats in the next several decades. The technology would be a game changer in theater, similar to how stealth is changing the battle space today. Thank you for watching. Please like, Share, comment, and subscribe.